welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We've got Born of the Gods. Uh, we are on our second journey, if you will, through uh, Theros Block. So I am looking forward to this. I have not opened a lot of Born of the Gods. Um, the set is, as far as value, is eh, it's kind of so-so, but it's always fun to open some of these, regardless of the value of the cards. A lot of people probably that are you know, a little bit newer to the game, maybe have not seen this opened, period. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of one of the cool things. You do get one of these little, uh, little pamphlet things on top. The packs do have an interesting feel to them as well. A little bit different, but you get 36 of them, and there are some gods in here. We're going to be looking for a couple of them. This is sponsored once again by our amazing patron of the channel. This is for Jeff. Jeff? Thank you so very much, and uh, good luck to you. Let's do it. All right, we have a Seder Fire Dancer. The Enchantment Creatures are in this. If you've not played with those too much, there are some cool tokens as well. I'm going to set some of those aside as we go. At least some of the more unique looking ones. Uh, but I believe Xenagos is going to be one of the top hits, and Brimez... I think those are the bigger ones that you can hit. All right, we have the Felhide Spirit Binder. This is a set that I did not play. I mean, I suppose I played a little bit of um, Magic Online back in the day, but I did not play this set in person, so I am not uh, terribly familiar with this set. All right, we have an Astral Cornucopia. Cornucopia. Hmm. Ooh, and a beautiful looking foil. Nyxborn Shieldmate. That looks sweet. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely top heavy, so hopefully we can hit, uh, hit our cat legendary creature and Xenagos and some of the other gods as well. It's always fun to hit the gods. Lightning Valley and Pain Seer, a human wizard, and a culling mark in the foil slot. So how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I think this will be posted on a Sunday, so happy Sunday to you if that is indeed the day it is or the, the day that you're watching this. And Faded Return. That is some hefty mana cost. Put target creature card from your graveyard into the battlefield under your control. It gains indestructible. If it's your turn, scry too. Mamma oh. mia, that's a spicy I'm just ball. thinking we were going to hit this. I can't even believe it. I have no idea what this is worth. This has got to be worth actually a pretty damn decent amount. I hope the multiplier is good on this. That is absolutely insane. I was literally going to say I hope we can hit the mythic of this um, in foil. Excuse me. Oh my god. Brimaz, king of Oreskos? I don't know. I probably butchered that. Sorry. <laughs> it's late once again. Oh, this card is really, really good. It's a cheap cat commander card. Pumping out tokens. It's a fantastic card. And I don't even know what to say. And you get a little centaur token in the back. That is an absolutely monstrous hit. I kind of want to just appreciate that for a moment. Big ol' Brimaz is Brimass. That is, wow. Well, I mean, the highlight of the box is immediate. I really want to check the price on that, but I don't have my computer in front of me. I just moved it. Oh, the archetypes are kind of cool. We'll throw some of those in, too. And Temple of Enlightenment. I almost can't believe that. That is, I mean, I was hoping to hit it out of the... Just regular mythic slot but that is the foil mythic slot i think it's around 20 some bucks regular hopefully the multiplier is good if it hasn't been printed a lot in foil um it's actually very possible it could be worth quite a bit and we have the forge stoker dragon and a sweet looking bird token man honestly that is a crazy hit yeah, you generally don't expect to uh, necessarily get a ton out of Born of the Gods. It's just one of those sets that has not uh, done fantastic for value. 
Ooh, this is another kind of a cool card. The Perplexing Chimera. The Kraken in the back. Wow, though. Well, who knows, too? We could hit another one um, in non-foil. That is <laughs> pretty insane. The archetype. And Eater of Hope. Just gobbling up all the hope. Goblin it up till it's gone. The weird peel away packs. There's maybe one uncommon that's kind of worth something in here. And we have the Mind Reaver. Uh, I believe it is the archetype of endurance. I want to say the green creatures you control have hex proof. Is the uncommon that's worth maybe a, a buck or two. We have the Fate Unraveler. An enchantment creature hag. He's very mean. And we have the Stormcaller of Karanos. The bird in the back. I can't believe that. I'm not trying to be low energy. It's just late at night, so I can't scream like I normally want to when, when you get that hit. But we are booster therapy after all, so we stay nice and calm. Whenever we can, but sometimes you hit monstrous hits like that. It's just hard to ignore. And we got a hero. Hero of the tower. Oh, look at that sweet zombie. Man, it's, it's, I really like these tokens. It's probably the best thing. I don't know what other people think. Let me know in the comments if you played this set. Did you like the tokens? Did you think the little sparkly... Stars going on in the background is a bit too much. I really like it. I think it's a nice touch. The constellation style. Uh, we have a faded conflagration. It's going full hooked on phonics right now. Conflagration. There we go. Conflagration. <laughs> You're just going to have to deal with me. When it's this late, I'm basically drunk. And Temple of Plenty. With a centaur. Do we have a centaur up there? Yep, we do. Just trying to get you. I'm going to fade these out. Fan them away. There we go. Well, we can see what we've got up there. And we still don't have a second, uh, or really a first regular mythic, I should say. Let's see if we can get there. All right, we have Eidolon of countless battles. Just endless battles going on. Another bird token. Come on, now let's get our first non-foil mythic. There it is. It's another god. Mogus, god of slaughter. Got another really cool card. This kind of dings everyone, pings everyone down. He's a big meanie. If you haven't seen one of Brett's um, gods decks, really cool. Not an inexpensive deck, but I would highly recommend you take a look. I think it should be somewhere posted. It might be pre when we called it uh, Commanding Presence, but check it out. It's a really fun deck. Mamma mia, that's a spicy <laughs> meatball. Oh my god. Um, this might go down as like the best Born of the Gods box possible. <laughs> Prim as the king has returned. This should just be like... The thumbnail right here. Look at all the thumbnails. One, two, three, 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 three. Wow. That is absolutely absurd. I was hoping to hit it regular and we just doubled up. That is absolutely crazy. Well, sometimes you have just incredible boxes. Whims of fate. Ooh, the cool looking elemental token. Throw you up there. Man, what a stinking pile of mythics you got going so far. Let's see if we can find another god. Temple of Malice. Nothing else in the token slot. Why is it that I'm like almost most excited to see the tokens? It's not normally the case, but for these, I just really like them. They are sweet. We have a faded infatuation. 
with a foil stratus walk just walking on clouds just you know doing a little little cloud walking that's all no big deal just just here to walk on clouds and we have hero of Aroas and a foil temple of plenty very nice well you've got two of the best mythics one of which is a foil mythic I mean you really can't ask for much more out of a born of the gods box all right you have Nessian wilds ravager Nessian Nessian oh no there's a zombie token in the back so many different kinds of zombie tokens over over the course of magic uh, of magic Ooh, nice. I love the Hydras. Scourge of Skola Vale. Getting down there toward the bottom of the box. Not quite there yet. We get to spend a little bonus time on old Brimaz. Brim Brim. Ooh, another archetype. And Guild. Nothing but gold. Exile a creature and put some gold, put some gold into play for the low, low price of gold. Fairies band. Oh, what is going on here? Double guild back to back. What strangeness is happening here? Well, um, I will take that kind of duplication if you're going to give more or less duplicate mythics. That is a, an exchange. I will do all day long. All right, we're back to the Felhide Spirit Binder. I think maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the uh, in the comments. I think this is a smaller set compared to Theros. I think Theros is quite a big set. So maybe you have some more opportunities here. Well, let's see if we can get another Mythic. I think we're due. You have the Faded Retribution. And may have been cut off right in the middle there. I had my son just wake up in the middle of the night. So if there's just like an a, abrupt end to me speaking, I'm not sure how the video will uh, sort that out. So my apologies. But back to business. Real life sometimes happens even in the, even in the middle of videos. All right, we have Hunter's Prowess. Hmm, let's see if we can find another god. More or less, I've got the Mythic count at two right now. It's that foil Mythic. As much as it counts in the pocketbook, it doesn't count against our box. It's our archetypes again. And the Hero of Aroas once again. It's actually not a bad card. Reduces your aura spells whenever you cast um, a spell that targets him. You get to put a counter on him. It's actually pretty cool. Ooh, archetype of aggression. And Temple of Plenty once again. With a foil, nullify. Ooh, another elemental token. So we're getting down there toward the bottom of the box. And then, if all goes well, tomorrow we'll have a Journey into Nyx box. And then Tuesday, we should have a really sweet um, Chaos opening that I'm really looking forward to. Should be Tuesday, I believe, by an amazing patron of the channel, Jim, uh, will be hooking us up with that. So I'm hoping we'll be on pace for that. There we go, another god, Afara, god of the polis. That is another sweet one. Man, what a nice box. All right, let's see if we can find another couple of Mythics here. I still think we're uh, we're definitely due for a few more Mythics. I think we can get there. There it is, back to back. <laughs> oh, it's a God of Deception now. Man, we are up to five Mythics just like that. 
How about one more? Like I said, that, that one doesn't count. It's only a four method box right now. Let's see if we can complete the run here. Back to back to back mythics. That's what we love to see. All right, another faded intervention. Not sure we actually had this one. The interventions. Uh, I think we just have three packs left, so we wish us the best of luck and close here. Jeff, let's do it. All right, another archetype of aggression. Ooh, archetype of finality. And another mind reaver. With a foil, raise to the challenge. Rise to the challenge, excuse me. All right, we got two packs left of Born of the Gods. And then I get to try and chase down another God pack. Brett's got the only God pack that we've opened. Nice archetype of endurance once again. In the perplexing chimera. With Glimpse the Sun God. Just taking a look at Hiliad. All right, and we have the last, the final pack of Born of the Gods. Good luck. Here we go. Can we get one more clutch mythic in the close? Raised by wolves? Nope. We're going to get another duplicate, and it does, what does it do here? It deals five damage to a creature or planeswalker. If it's your turn, scry two. Eh, that's a stretch to be a rare. And how about a little gold? A little gold on your way out. We have Faded Conflagration, and we've got a bunch of gods. We've got an amazing foil mythic. I am very pleased with this box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Started out with a bang. Very excited for that. That is all we have for now. If you're wondering if Brett is still alive, yes, he's still alive. I've just got a bunch of boxes to open. So if you're tired of me, sorry, I'm going to be around for a little bit. But don't worry, Brett will be back. We'll both be around. We have our sweet cabin trip coming up here. We'll all be tested for COVID, make sure that we're negative before we go up and uh, have some fun playing some commander, all that fun stuff. That'll be um, sometime this next week. So that's all I have for now. Thanks everyone. This has been Patrick with Booster Therapy. So long.